Welcome to, yet again, another challenge round. This will be a 1950s edition. This will be Tom Sansone against Dick Du Bois, two of the less-known fellows from the 1950s. But anyway, let's dive right in. It's plain to me that the conditioning of one Tom Sansone is head and shoulders above Dick Du Bois. Du Bois possessing a superior structure, as anybody can see here. But it's just nowhere near enough for the hard work and dedication this Tom Sansone put into that physique. Incredible. Paid off. Anyway, he gets the point. Now, let's have a look at the front double bicep pose. I actually have Dick Du Bois just squeaking out a slight victory in this one. I say that uh, because I believe Dick Du Bois is, is just his structure. I hate to say it, his structure. I know I said Dick Du Bois had the better structure. But here in the front double bicep, and look at the lats and the little tiny waist of Du Bois, or of uh, Sansone, rather. With these two gentlemen uh, mixed up, both uh, handsomer fellows, I guess one could say. But the reason why I'm giving this to Du Bois is his biceps alone. Just massive, massive biceps. He really dedicated himself to pumping those guns. Anyway, he's uh, making a match out of this one, and it's all tied up. Now, let's have a look at a front lat spread. This one will be going to Tom Sansone. Now, I believe he is just far too muscular for Dick Du Bois to contend with. Now, yes, I know, I realize that Sansone is... Uh, He's not displayed quite properly. And one Dick Du Bois has quite a nice little flair on those lats. But I mean, little twigs of limbs compared to Tom Sansone. And look at the conditioning. This Sansone means business. And I just can't go two, two shots in a row and deduct him when he is just muscular structure is just far superior. But anyway, he gets the point here in the front lat spread, regardless of uh, my urge to select Du Bois because of that nice flaring lats. But anyway, let's head on into this, the side chest. And neither guy is going to make this uh, easy decision for me to make. As always, Tom Sansone is far more conditioned, and he is far more muscular, in particular in those legs. But have a glance at that side chest of Dick Du Bois. He is just built for this pose. This had to have been his go-to pose. Looks fantastic. And it's enough for Mark's Max Muscle to lean in his favor. For this, the side chest, Dick Du Bois gets the point. So this is a nice little battle. Now let's have a look at uh, this uh, single arm bicep. And we have Sansone creating a nice little back-and-forth battle in this 1950s version of the challenge round. Well, I believe in the front double bicep, he was losing in the bicep region alone, but here he's battled back, and he's dwarfing one Dick Du Bois in that region alone. And I believe his conditioning is just way too much for Dick to handle. But anyway, this is an excellent match, like I said. So at this time, we'll have these two gentlemen display a version of a most muscular. And this will be the final pose of this excellent little challenge round. As Tom Sansone, well, it's plain to anybody to see here that he's just, just dominating in this most muscular. I think the 1950s uh, gladiator round tournament is going to focus here on this Tom Sansone because... He's going to be a, a pretty hard uh, man to beat in this tournament. But anyway, we don't need to look at any more poses. He actually dominated in the Abbot thigh as well. But we're going to skip that, and we're going to award this challenge round to Tom Sansone. <laughs> Tom Sansone will now await the challenge of another challenge round winner to do battle in the gladiator round.